What is it, Darren? Where is your test? This is my test. Didn't you like it, Penny? Professor Mosby. And he can't accept it. Mr. Mosby, may I suggest a more interesting exam? Like, for example, we could play a love scene from Romeo and Juliet. Maybe an adult version. Okay, that's enough, Darren. You failed your final. Miss Mosby. Do you know who my father is? Do you really want to upset him? Don't try to scare me, Darren. Okay. I'll give you one more chance. I know you want one. It's so sad to see such young, beautiful, and obviously very lonely professor without her Romeo. But unlike the play, I'll give you a happy ending. Okay, that's, that's enough. I'm out of patience. You failed your final, and I will let the Dean know everything about your harassment. You underestimate the power of the dark side, Miss Mosby. If you will not kiss, then you will meet your destiny. Professor Bays, I need to talk Professor to you. Professor Mosby, just in time. Come in. Why did you give an F to young Mr. Cross? Mr. Cross failed his final. I gave him exactly what he deserved. There must be some misunderstanding. Mr. Cross is an excellent student, always on the Dean's list. I think we can fix this, can't we, Professor Mosby? Young man, you may go now. I'll take care of everything. I hope so. Professor Bayes, I'm not changing his grade. He was harassing me. I insist. Me. Professor, try to let go of your feelings and be objective. I am. Take a look. I'm sure you're aware that his father is the primary donor of our university. Yes, I am. He's the wealthiest man in the city. Without his annual donations, our entire Department of Literature would not exist. Now tell me, do you really want to give an F to his son? Professor Bayes, if he continues to do what he- Look, I don't want to hear about it anymore! You read a lot, so you should know that it's unwise to bite the hand that feeds you! <sighs> Today, at five o'clock, he comes to inspect the library renovations he paid for. And the books. You wanted more books for your students. You got them, thanks to Mr. Cross. God forbid his son should get an A in literature. So if you value your position in this department, you'll make an appointment with Darren Cross and let him retake the exam. You know I'm not gonna do that. Why not? You need me to pass the exam, right? I'm just not gonna do that. Don't be stupid, Darren. Grab your pen, write down your answers, and we are done. Unless you're ready to be my Juliet. Settle down, Shakespeare in love. It's not gonna happen. What a shame. I'll just have to tell the Dean that you didn't take my exam. Darren! Call me Romeo. You know you have no choice. Stop messing around. I've been looking forward to this. I listen to every class, I read works of great poets. You are so sexy when you get into it. And I know that you fantasize about being in all the stories, so... So let's just make some interesting stories together. Yes. But not here. I know a quiet place. Wow.
Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> Glad to see all my donations weren't made in vain. Yes, sir. And I assure you that I personally oversaw everything. You got a book on Cary Grant. What a selection you guys have here. Sorry. Yeah, it was the great idea. It's so quiet here. So no one will bother us, my jeweler. Darren. Darren. If you want to pass this course, you have to change your attitude. Of course, the course. Darren. But soft. What lies three on the window breaks? Tis the east and truly at the sun. Stop it. She speaks. Speak again, my bright angel. Darren, I'm warning you. What for? What is the only even sunset of Get your hands hey. off me! Darren, I said no! Hey! Hey! Hey, what's going on? Here, what are you doing? Hey, so, that's... Mr. Cross, your son, he's... Uh, his actions are very inappropriate. It's okay, Professor Mosby. Darren, you should be ashamed. Stand up when I'm talking to you! For God's sakes! I didn't put you to school so you could harass professors! That's you wanted. Yes. No, she didn't! No means no, son! Just because I'm wealthy doesn't mean you can do whatever you want! What happened? I heard shouting. Exactly what I told you before. Darren is harassing me. Exactly what I told you before? You knew about this and you didn't do anything? You kept your mouth shut? S -s Sir, I would n never, n never let this, this, uh, but, but he's your son. Just because he's my son doesn't mean he can do whatever he wants. God, stand up. I'm standing. I'm yanking you out of this school and I'm putting you into a military academy. And if you slack there, if you don't study, at least you're gonna learn discipline and serve your country at the same time. Come on, Dad. It's funny, huh? You laugh. It's funny for you. You gotta learn respect. And you gotta learn how to be a real man. Now go wait for me in the car. Okay? Go. Hut! Left! Right! Left! Right! Left! Get used to it, son. And as for you, you almost destroyed everything that I spent years with these hands building at this university. My God, this turned, turned into a huge scandal. They gotta be stopped at the start. You know, I'm seriously starting to doubt your capabilities as a dean of students. I assure you, Mr. Cross, I, I assure Shut you. Shut up. No. Come Monday morning, I'm calling immediately the board of trustees. And I think I know a good replacement. That is, if she'll accept. Thank you, Mr. Cross. I, uh, I appreciate it, but let me just teach. There are so much more qualified candidates. No, 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 no. You showed integrity and loyalty to the university. And more importantly, you showed integrity, loyalty to your principles. That's not easy to find these days. I'd be honored if you accept my offer and run it. So please, I'm asking you. Come work with us. Thank you. Great. Welcome aboard. I just want some flowers. Bad season's for beggars, huh? Here, take it. Even if you sell your life, you won't have enough for the cheapest bouquet. Well, if you really need it, here's the pawn shop across the street. Go sell something valuable. 